Japan. I'm a singer in Japan. I'm a, I'm a singer in Japan. Max here again, and today I have another special guest. This is Mayowa. He is a singer, well, soon to be a singer in Japan. Coronavirus hit, so there's been a lot of hold off to, yeah. for you to actually come out with stuff, but we'll get into that. Yeah. Before we start the video, I did want to thank our sponsor, which is Hotel. Before we start the video, I did want to thank our sponsor, Hotel Residence Propongi. It is a hotel here in Nishi Azabu, Tokyo. You can actually rent this space out if you just click the link in the description. It will tell you exactly how to rent this space out. You can use it for meetings, just talking. Uh, as well as filming like this. All that's out of the way. So now yeah, we cool. can start. Thanks from, for having me, Max. Yeah, we've been waiting for this thing for like. I'm months. I'm so <laughs> excited. This is crazy. Yeah. I saw your video talking to Tiffany, mm -hmm. who has also become a really good friend of mine. Yes. You're such a genuine person. So I just really wanted to. Yeah. yeah no, yeah, like you're such a you're so cool. So for people who don't know though, Maya, you are from Maryland, and I guess you were born in California. Yeah. But you came to Japan to live for the first time like three years ago. Yeah, about like three and a half years ago. Yes. Yeah, I moved to Japan. Yeah. There's a big story that just shows your transition from just being in the US, getting to the point where you actually moved to Japan three years ago. It's a very great story. It's crazy. Since I was like six years old, my brother used to watch like, okay, so you, I saw you were playing Final Fantasy. Seven? Yeah. 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 I just beat it. Yeah. yeah you, oh, you finished? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like everyone else, that was one of like my favorite games to play. And I used to play that with my brother, like Street Fighter, and watch like Naruto and Dragon Ball Z. And I remember like when I was younger being like, I would hear Japanese and I'm like, oh no, like, mm -hmm. like it just was so like beautiful and I was like, it's kind of like, I never thought I would live here. I never thought that this would happen. Like everything has happened. Let's jump into more about his backstory and like how he got here because I think that a pictures. lot of people can get something out of this. I have a lot to say so I had to like take notes yes they in do. order to like keep myself on track. <laughs> I literally have like <laughs> diverging like notes about like the timeline and everything. Okay so so I started singing probably when I was like four and I started liking Japanese when I was about six. I was the youngest actually of so here's a baby picture of me. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I started singing since I was four. Started liking Japanese when I was six, and I started writing my own songs when I was seven. Um, but yeah, I'm the youngest of the three of us. My brother's nine years older than me, and my sister's seven years older than me. Right. Yeah. So like, I remember she saying, um, "Lord knows dreams are hard to follow." Mariah Carey's "Hero." Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was like, "Oh my god! Like your singing is so good." Mm -hmm. And you know, I was yeah, a kid, yeah, and but I was older sister, right? Yeah, and you know. If I, you're I, older siblings, you just think like they're superheroes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh, like I want to sing like her. You know, I, I really want to get to the point where how Japan really, you know, how you got to Japan. And okay. You know, you know, you kind of lived a would you say like a not normal, but it was like you know the the American life because you moved to Maryland. Yeah. When I was like 11. So yeah. So I lived in California until I was 11. Moved to Maryland. And then while I was in Maryland, I had normal high school life and everything. Actually, this is perfect. Um, I pictured me in high school. <laughs> okay, um, there we go. This choir? Yeah, so I was, I actually, I always had wanted to sing. Yeah. But it was never something that like I had studied. When I was in, before I moved to Maryland, the last year of me being in California, I sang. Mm -hmm. This is very important because it was a talent show and people used to make fun of me. I didn't have any friends as a kid. That was hard, but that last year I sang. I think I was 10 or 11 and I sang at a talent show and everyone was like shocked that I could sing. And they were like, oh my God, like, you're so good. And like the people that were like popular and so, like, started talking to me and stuff. But then I left, <laughs> you know, like, why did you wait to be nice to me until you realized I could sing? But it's one of those things. Like, it's one of those things. And then um, fast forward to when I moved to Maryland in junior high school, I also sang. You'll see, and I'm gonna show you a video, like okay. I used to be really nervous when I would sing because I just, thought I wasn't good. So the second year I faked being confident. And <laughs> make the, it to yeah, make it. I was like I was like love 
you know, kind of like this, but I was like, inside I was like shaking. But, uh-huh. And, and um, they were like, what happened? Like, you're so confident. I was like, <laughs> Played that one. <laughs> Played that one. Yeah. So when I was in high school, I actually got a solo. Say that was kind of like what not started but made you think like okay maybe i can keep getting better and yeah. keep going with this yeah it was those three moments because when you think about it elementary school i sang mm-hmm. everyone's like wow like you could see the way people treated me for years change yeah. junior high school i wasn't confident and then i sang and then i gained more confidence and then i got a solo mm-hmm. and then high school still i was unconfident even still here, I was like mm-hmm. not confident. Yeah, yeah. But I, I wanted to sing. I actually got the male lead of the school musical that year. I totally forgot to mention it. And then um, we went to Disney World. I got to sing at Disney World. Yeah. In Florida. In Florida. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> That's big. Yeah, I know. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> This was, I think this was a really defining moment. Mm. It, I mean, again, it's, it's, you can, each time that I sang, you can hear how like people react and how they felt. Mm-hmm. That really stuck to me each time. And I just, it gave me a little more confidence each time, slowly. Okay, so with all this happening, what, what made you like go in so hard? Cause I know you told me that you went pretty deep into like college and like- Yeah, in science and stuff. Yeah, and like, I'll jump into it, but you, you eventually like were studying like to become a doctor. While I was at that high school, I met a man um, through, because one of my best friends was family friends with him. And he knew that I wanted to study science. So since it was, like, I got a little bit of interest in science and my parents were like, you might be able to make some money when you do that. So like, mm-hmm. you know, like anyone for all Nigerian viewers know, it's like, ah, <laughs> you're going to be a doctor. I want you to be a doctor. Maybe you can go and make some money. <laughs> oh, you like science? Ah, thank you, ah, thank you, Jesus, we thank you. <laughs> like you know, you know. So oh, like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it has, uh, this this can make money. Yeah, they're like, I mean, they they want a good life. Any second generation, first generation, first generation child might know their parent probably wants like the best for them, and their parent came from their own country and like worked very hard and mm. made that less. They're like, okay, now you <laughs> need to go and make a good life for yourself because they, they expect you to do the same thing. Uh-huh. Maybe. I, I, everyone comes from their own yeah, experience. Yeah. But this, this is like, yeah. I was, I, I because I, st- I really did like studying science. Mm-hmm. And the, this guy, uh, his name is Lamont Tull. He's the director of the Meyerhoff Scholars Program in Maryland, which is the number one program in the nation for producing minority PhD. He immediately kept telling me that he saw so much potential in me, and I didn't understand how he could do that because he didn't know me at all. And he was like, I, I, I see you doing great things. And I'm just like, how? <laughs> <laughs> no one had ever said that to me before. He took me under like his wings, and he fought for me to get into the program. And it's like, you have to go through basically, the best way I can explain it is like, imagine a Marine like boot camp boiled down to less physical activity. <laughs> More that for six <laughs> weeks, you and 50 other people have to be together just like that. Mm-hmm. But um, he, he taught me for the first time how to believe in myself. He instilled the value within me that I can do anything and that there is, it is a waste for me to have any doubt in my potential and ability as a person. And at that point, the goal was to get a PhD. Two years into being in into my college, mm-hmm. he passed away on campus of a heart attack center. And it left like the biggest void. And I was like crying so much. And I realized I have to become a person like him. He inspired me to believe in myself in a way that no human had ever done before. Yeah. And I, I have to become this person and inspire as many people as I can yeah. to and, understand. And, you know, you There know. will always be people who are smarter than you, more talented than you, or simply better than you. But, I, but you can overcome me. all of that by working harder than everyone else. <laughs> I've heard this once or twice in my life. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, he used to say that to me all the time. But I, I took that energy and so I kept moving forward. Uh-huh. I got into the PhD program. Yeah. I went there. 
and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Like, I can do this. Yeah. Hated it. <laughs> and the first, like, the day I sat, I will never forget the day. This is this is the first time I've ever talked about this. The day that I sat down in the classroom, I knew I shouldn't have been there. I was like, something's off. You, you, have you ever felt that way before? Like, like a moment where you're like, why am I? Yeah. This doesn't feel right. Right. I thought that it was just nerves. Cause I'm like, everyone like doubts themselves or whatever. But it was, it wasn't like, oh, I don't want to be here. It was like, this doesn't seem right. And it wasn't even like the fact like I should be a singer. It was just more like this is not right. Okay. So when I was in grad school, it was really hard um, and sad, <laughs> but um, I didn't give up because it was hard. I gave up because it wasn't what I wanted to do. And how did I decide the timing of when I should quit? The first year that I took the class, I failed the exam. You brought this? Yeah. I've kept it ever since it happened. 56%. I was the lowest grade in the entire class. I failed. And I failed the class. A year later, I retook the test. And like, you know, I was going to do the whole class. Mm -hmm. And I got an A on the first exam. Mm -hmm. And that was like after studying every single day. Then I realized this is not what I want to do. And that's when I quit. When you, you got the A. When I got the A. And that's why I keep this and I wrote on the bottom, remember where you once were, cherish where you are. The thing about singing was always in the background. I never thought about making it the forefront of my life. So far we haven't even like touched Japan. Like, nope. How does this, this is, all, this is like all the, like, this is the prologue, prologue. Yeah, because the last thing I want to say before I guess I start to switch into the Japan part is, I a little bit よくないと思ってて、やめちゃって、あの、そうですね。なんかそんなに一生懸命頑張ったのに、やっぱりこれは自分のやりたいことじゃないを気づいて、あ、そしてなんかI just didn't know what to do. Who am I? What do I want? What do you do when what you wanted to do for so long you just worked so hard for? I just told you like I worked so hard to get up to that point. で、テレビで、で、言うのに心配やで、よくあの、なんか大学に辞めて、家族との反対されたって書いてあったけど、まあ、大学に辞めていろいろがあって、大学に、だけじゃないけど、理由だけではないですけど、いろいろがあって家族
everyone was surprised. And how close was it from like the, you got it to leaving? October 17th, 2016. There it is, it's written down. I got it, I got it, I got it, three exclamation marks. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> it's proof! But in the meantime, you had an Ariana uh, Grande concert to go to, right? Two weeks before I moved to Japan. Ooh! <laughs> oh, she signed it? Yeah! Well, because it's VIP. Yeah! I hope she's watching this. <laughs> I saw the clip. You basically <laughs> sang her songs that start with a B. Right? Yeah. All of them. Yeah. It was like a quiz, and I'm supposed to say the answers. Yeah. And if you say the answer, you get a shirt. Yeah. But I sang them because I'm crazy. Did you get the shirt? I got the shirt! <laughs> Name all of her songs that start with the letter B. I sing because of you. Can no, I, sing? I can't sing. Don't sing because of me. You sing because you have a Oh my gosh, no, thank you. One. I mean, but the fact that Ariana Grande said that to me, I still have to watch the video to this day and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that all happened. I'm sure you're pretty hyped up because now two weeks later, yeah. you go to Japan. You are placed in Fukuoka, yeah. uh, Japan, which is... Fukuoka. Yeah, so. Fukuoka. Never been, but I know I should go. Let's go. I'll yeah, yeah. You know, you weren't like fluent in Japanese. <laughs> with all the things that happened with your family, ending your graduate program, you're like, Coming to Japan, like I just need to start fresh. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to start fresh, immerse myself in Japanese culture. Yeah, I really wanted to be do everything like everyone else around me, like as much as possible. So like I just opened myself up and became a child again. <laughs> 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 if I, but I would never shift to English. I would always stay in Japanese. Even if it's not 100% correct or like... But that experience I know is like, it's in... I want to say it's Inaka, but it's just far enough away where there's probably not a lot of English speakers, not like Tokyo where yeah. there's American or international people everywhere. It's so personal because it was really just me. I felt like it was such a personal experience, like... Yeah, and it's three years of you teaching at like 16 different schools, I think you said. Uh, thir 13? You had that entire like Japanese middle school experience, even though you were teaching. Yeah. You had to like, my, you said you're, you felt like you're a kid, right? Yeah, yeah, like I just felt like I was living my life through them. I wanted to do everything like the Japanese way, so I'm watching them live their life and how they interact and what they say, and, and I just tried to just learn. I just watched, like, try to absorb as much as I can and just. I'm like, okay, this is how I do this. Like students and people with like good relationships, and I'm like, okay, this is how I can form a good relationship. Did people treat you like an outsider, or was it just like, this is just Maiwa? Maiwa. Like, Maiwa sensei. Uh, yeah. He's from America, but... But they just treated me just like everyone else. I never felt other, especially in Chiku. I never felt that way. I always felt like everyone was so nice to me. My, uh, because <laughs> he was so nice. Yeah, and like, um, I would just always buy the, uh, like a hamburger toria. <laughs> and so he knew, he's like, ah. Uh, I don't got this Yeah, because everyone knows who you are. So, it's like, yeah, who can know? Like, which one? You know what So, and I think this is a big part that I want to touch on because, like, you're the Kutsuno America Jane, you could say, and like, yeah. But then you, you completely like you know Japan's like changing your life essentially. Oh, it from the moment I arrived, it started changing my life. I mean, I feel like I love who I've become in Japan because of Japanese people, because of the good people and the good experiences that I've had. Yeah. Like, okay, I have to show you because the first eight months were hard. I didn't have any friends, but then I met my what I call my Japanese family. Yeah. So this is um this is a kane. Uh -huh. And then this is her dad, Mas Masahiro. Yes. But I call him Masani. Masani? Yeah, Masani. <laughs> when I met Masani, Akane san no kodomo tachi ga taiko yate den desu kido. Ie no chikaku no enzo de atte. Naka, I heard like a don 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 outside. I'm like, what in the world is that sound? <laughs> and I go and it's like, they're like playing mm. the drums. And I'm like, すごい, なんかめっちゃかっこいいと思って. 
and they needed a um, a volunteer. Yeah. So I ended up bike volunteering. To and, just hit stuff? No, like for them to jump over me with a bike. So so that happened and yeah. this was their grandfather, right? This is their grandfather. And he, so he I think he was happy that I volunteered. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then he was like, uh, you teach me English, okay? I paid. <laughs> and I was like, ooh! Oh my god, it's so good! Oh my god, it's so good! So, I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. And I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. So, I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to go いや、私は買いますマジで It took me to 札幌<笑>という気持ちで I'll show you Yeah, like I have goosebumps like thinking about it just now おはようございまーすおはようございまーす行きましょう That was the most amazing experience of my whole life It felt like a dream I'm in Japan Yeah I'm in 札幌あという気持ちでそうだね With like my Japanese family I'm like 何これなんかいやねいいこのこの生活ダビューの人生 adopted like grandson and they're just like this is まあ just like this it's so it's so like genuine it's so genuine it's 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 crazy how it started because this is this is what got me here Japan is so refreshing and so wonderful and amazing sometimes you just like drink in like the the atmosphere and you're like I walked in this room today and felt the same way. I, uh, I was like, we're really, this This should be like the advertisement for like <laughs> for Japan. For Japan. Yeah. People need it. Yo, we're not lying. Japan. We're not lying. We're not lying. And like, I mean, of course, like, you know, everyone's experience is different. But I've had a really wonderful experience. And this only happened because you allowed yourself to be so open to the change. And they were open to teaching you, like, this is how to do it. It was that it was the duality of that because it, you need both, I think, to have like that kind of an experience. I wanted so much to understand and to be a part of Japanese society yeah. and to have like a family sort of take me in and teach me exactly that. The, you met them eight months in, and like you went from baby Japanese to the Japanese Japanese now, which mm -hmm. is like, I mean, obviously, it's good enough. To be, you can sing in Japanese. So. Oh, hi. yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> and. What made you realize, like, I'm gonna enter a singing contest in Japan because that's what you did? Okay, so Akane san, mm -hmm. this, um, so this is Masani and Akane, right? Mm -hmm. Akane san and Masani, mm -hmm. they both, we, every like taiko performance, I would go to every taiko performance for Sora and Hina. And sometimes they would be like, Maya, come up and sing. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> it's all like, 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 it was nerve-wracking. One time, I sang a song in the middle of the night and I forgot to sing it. At the beginning, I forgot to sing it. It's crazy. It's crazy. I really sang a song in the middle of the night. It's like, Why do you sing it? Why do you sing it? But everyone was like, when it was over, they were very happy. They were really 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 happy. So, Akane and and Masami always pushed me to keep singing. In all these situations, kept pushing me, like, just keep going, just, just try it. Mm -hmm. And so, whew, uh, I became more confident over time. So then, they, um, this is actually an izakaya in Fukuoka mm -hmm. that um, Akane helped me get the opportunity to sing at this izakaya. So every month, I would sing here. Mm -hmm. Once a every month. month? Yes, okay. This was on UI of Nanishimi? Yes. The TV show? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna connect this. This is crazy, right? So keep up with me. Right, it's gonna be fast. Okay. This izakaya I, I sing at every month. I went to Tokyo 
and I was here for uh, for work, and Akane was also here. And there was someone that I I didn't know who was sitting at the table. I sang Happy Birthday to Hino because it was his birthday, like Honky Day. Was it like Happy Birthday to you? Or is it was it like Happy yeah. Birthday to you. He died. Oh. <laughs> you, okay, so you sang that, and the guy yeah. was like. Yeah, and the guy was like, "The guy was this thing." I was like, "To myself." I was like, "No." Joey, I'm not important. Yeah, Akane's son was like, "Yeah, I didn't hit that guy. It's okay. I didn't hit that guy. It's okay. 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 It's like It's okay. 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 Knows people at like Avex and Universal, and I'm like, oh, so was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? And then he's like, how can you do my job? So I, I sang with him. He uploaded the video onto his Instagram. He's a Elaito director, you said, right? Well, he's a, a Ito-san. His friend is a producer. You know Lisa-san. Lisa, yeah, the the green. Yes. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Yes, 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 yes. Her producer is his friend. Okay. And saw me sing on his Instagram. Her producer is, is his friend. His friend. So So he saw his story. Okay. So And he's like the guy that you met is friends with that yes, Lisa's producer. Yes. Yes. So okay. Yes. So the guy who I met filmed me that <laughs> night. Yeah. And then that the producer saw me and was like, he we need to make him a singer. Like he has a good voice. Like he yeah, should yeah. be a singer in Japan. And this is, yeah, 2019, right? This is 2019. August okay. 10th. Five days later, this happened. Yeah. Hello, excuse me. Japanese TV program. Oh. Interview okay? Oh, okay. Thank you. 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 Thank what are you doing in Japan? Yep. And for, they found ah. you because yeah. you're flying back, right? From, and, yeah, I had gone to Okinawa and then I came back. And then you're like, I, yeah. know, I know your program. I, I want your show. I yeah. was like, what? <laughs> and remember five days that I just had this talk yeah, yeah. with this guy. You just had this happen. So um, they decided to film me uh -huh. um, at the izakaya that I showed you, that Akane showed me. And like, I had a competition that weekend. So they, like, I had these opportunities that were built up over yeah. the years through like Akane and Masani and all of that. Yeah. And so the show filmed me there. And then like, while that was also happening, I started like auditioning with the producer yeah. to enter into an agency to come to sing in Tokyo. Completely separate things. But then the third episode of Yoda Nanishin, or second, second episode of Yoda Nanishin, Yimik Poyet, they were like, can we film you audition for that agency? Mm, and, and they did. They did. And that, so like, and thus began the like, So yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they just kept filming me. So it's like, okay, I'm singing in the agency and now I'm like on TV. And I'm singing in the agency and like, I'm on TV. And it's yeah. just like, suddenly, since, since August of last year, it's just been like, boom, boom, boom. And then, I I made it into the I passed the audition yeah, and now I'm here. Moved, and then you moved to Tokyo when? In April. And it was like I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start singing. And then <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Can I show you one more thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of that episode on Yuan Anji and Nikoya, I started trending on Twitter. Oh, you printed it out. No, no, my school, I, I was teaching in elementary oh, school, right. printed this out for me. That's the right. Kojo you are still teaching, yeah. Yeah. He printed this out for you. Yeah, he was like, you were trending on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no. This is the most recent occurrence. Mayowa wa kashu debut. Yeah, what do the Japanese do? And there's from? Ariana right there. Yeah, I'm right next to her. It's your life story so far. I mean, you're only 28, so there's still a lot. <laughs> this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I just love the fact that you were able to do this at 25. The decisions I made are crazy. <laughs> I was in a PhD program and I quit after working in science for six, up to, for six years. Yeah. And by myself moved to Japan. I don't speak any of the language. And then I want to be a singer. These are not yeah. these are not easy decisions, but I have a mission because I want to inspire people and I want to prove to them and and help them to understand, especially in a time like this, to understand that you can make a good life for yourself. It is possible. Although you might feel like it's not sometimes, that's not true. Yeah. It's not true. And I have to prove that to myself. And then from that place of 
joy and happiness, and then it's proven. I'm almost there. And then it's like, once I debut, it doesn't matter how many albums or anything, it's like, I did it, y'all! Yeah. Yeah. I'm a singer in Japan! Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a singer in Japan! You know? I hope that someone, I hope someone watching feels encouraged by this. And it's, it's not like everyone has the same story, and that's part of the fun of it. It's, you don't have to try to do the exact same don't thing. Don't copy it, no. Just do. Find your own and make your own. There's, Way. I remember watching YouTubers before I came to Japan trying to like, oh, I'm gonna come to Japan, I'm gonna do that thing that he did. It's like, no, like take that advice and things you hear from people, but like come and have your own experience and I promise you, regardless of the outcome, you will learn things that will contribute humongously impactfully to your own life. You should definitely follow Mayo up. Please. Uh, be ready to start seeing some videos. I want to thank my GoFundMe donors and my patrons. Thank you so much for all the support. You guys, Max is a really good person. And I <laughs> I really also encourage, because I, I want to help and support him. Like, just, please, please support him. Okay, wait, hold on. Shh. You have to be quiet. <laughs> okay, ready? Yes, I'm ready. Subscribe to Max's channel. Ooh. I got you, we're gonna correct this. You're gonna, make me, you're gonna make me watch JoJo and then I'm gonna make you watch something. Okay, this is a deal. Cho -cho <laughs> you are using 49.9 gigabytes of your 50 gigabyte iPhone storage. <laughs>